a killer on the loose. Right now, a city on alert after a string of deadly shootings. Tonight, the dire warning from police. We're actively working it. And ride along as they hunt for the killers. Stay inside and don't go out alone after dark. That's the message tonight from police in Federal Way. Three men have been shot dead over 48 hours with no suspects or arrests yet. Police are patrolling the streets in force. Como's Morgan Chesky rode along with an officer. Right now he's at police headquarters. And Morgan, are people listening to this warning? Yeah, Mayor Eric, we certainly did not see a lot of people out and about tonight when we did ride with officers, and it's a measure they hope they take very seriously. And what one officer is calling the worst string of killing he's seen in his entire career. It's a ride he's taken hundreds of times before. Tell me, you can put me on that special detail now, please. But for Commander Brett Hatfield, Wednesdays meant more. But, uh, it feels terrible. We have these uh, the suspect or suspects out on the loose right now. Every turn down every street, all part of a coordinated effort. We have homicides. Homicides happen in federal way, but uh, in rapid succession like this, it's uh, all but unheard of. The first just after 1 a.m. Monday morning, police say a man stepped outside an apartment to smoke when someone shot him. The second Monday night, when neighbors found a man slumped over the wheel of a car, shot dead. The latest, just after 11 Tuesday night, when someone shot a man walking with his dog near a popular trail. It's upsetting uh, that knowing some gentleman is out jogging with his dog, he's shot and killed. Now police, both uniformed and undercover, are focusing on key areas as friends of victims struggle to move on. Yeah, it's like my brother. He became my best friend. Lorenzo Haynes, one of dozens who came to mourn Frank Cohen's, a husband and father of two, found inside a car just two days ago. I mean, he was cool. He always smiled. He never wanted to wrong nobody. He never wanted to hurt nobody. Like, that was a good man. For police, tips and leads are coming in, but until they make an arrest, the fight to bring back peace isn't stopping. We're in it for the long haul, whatever it takes. Hopefully it doesn't take very long. And these added patrols not the only response. Community leaders have called for a citywide meeting to address this issue. It's set for 7 p.m. tomorrow here at City Hall. Live in Federal Way, Morgan Chesky, Como News. Scary stuff, Morgan. Thank you.